Welcome back, everybody. So, while you guys were taking a break, I took a little intermission. So now, while I was waiting, we got all that other information we heard from her. And we, we got, so I pulled some more cards, okay? So I'm going to just move these out of my way. Just a quick little second, put them right there. Okay, so on this, um, I wanted to know some more information on this stuff here. On the world and the judgment. As the entire family sat um, around discussing my grandma, my mom made the comment, I have sinned. And it sure was fun. Okay. <laughs> While trying not to watch my sister make out with her boyfriend, my brother said out loud, I sure I have sinned. And I sh and it was fun. So she's admitting to her sleeping with this little boy and her saying how much fun it was. Oh much fun it is to ride. At the bottom of the job application in the additional comment section, Don wrote, hmm. You might want to zip your pants up. Yeah, and about me fucking that little boy. Sure did. And that's on the reason why she can't um, make the decision on the marriage. And that's on the Eight of, Eight of Swords and the Hermit. Loneliness, unattached, soul searching, time needed. Or time alone. That's her alone time when she be with this motherfucker here. And then the Eight of Cups says, frustrated, frustrations, feeling bound and gagged. She's to it's toxic. The reason why she's sleeping with this is she can't stop sleeping with him. She said she, every time they get with each other, they take their they clothes off. Okay? <laughs> Shit. All right, y'all. Y'all got me confused. Shit, the energy. So I'm making me feel his energy. She's feeling for him. Okay, as she sat around watching TV, and my aunt Dot suddenly yelled, "Knight of Swords, does this smell funny to you?" Yeah, and that's on the Knight of Swords, and that was on the things, um, things that are intimidating. But she moving forward though. She keep going back. All right, so something that might be described as dan um as flaky. So this this is why she's smug. And it says halfway through my grandma's funeral, uncle, uncle my uncle leaned over to me and said, "I got infected, and that my friend is infected. We both infected for each other. That's the flaky shit. You are." about a moron he a moron the other one okay we're gonna get to that we're gonna i got the emperor sitting here i ain't forgot i ain't i see him make sure you subscribe like and share we are talking about jada pinkett smith here and we are talking about the entanglement here we are talking about her relationship with olga Alcina. august i think they told me to say I don't know who the fuck hell these people are. I don't listen to TV. I like to watch, listen to music. I don't really listen to this shit. Cat clawing shit. I don't listen to this shit. What else I got? What am I supposed to be looking for? All right, tell me this shit. Shit. She ain't gonna come over here and manipulate me. What you got to say on the emperor? Is this it? Mom took one look at him and said, what the hell your mom say? Dad walked in the room. And Dad walked in with blood on his shirt and he said, I'm talking to Dad. And ever since I talked to him, that's the energy he come out with. Timmy's lack of respect for his stepmom was evident when he said, it's evident that she don't have no respect for him. Evident. Um, my sister told my Gonica that she's fucking another man. It's evident. This is not normal, y'all. And any woman that's sitting here condoning it and saying that it's normal, guess what? And it better not be a bitch like Vivica Fox saying nothing about nobody when 50 Cent did that old fuck shit to you. So I better not hear you on no TV broadcast telling nobody nothing. So she just want to be the one. Oh, girl, you got caught out there too, huh, boo? <laughs> and laughing her ass off with you. 
doing karaoke night, my sister grabbed the microphone and she shouted. This shit is over. That's why he left. But she didn't carry left because remember that thing they did on the TV where they punched fists? What is that? I want to know about that. The power of a fucked up relationship? Fuck no. Don't pound your fist to that shit, Will. She done got you manipulated, motherfucker. Don't do that. Let me tell you some more shit this motherfucker resting about. The night her wedding, the night before her wedding, this might, she might have fucked another man before y'all wedding night. This is some shit they telling me. I don't know what I'm reading, but this shit, if it came out here, it's important that y'all read it and listen to it because it tells you everything about the woman I'm talking about. It ain't nothing I made up. It ain't nothing I went and conjured up and said myself. Anything you see on this table, it got to pertain to the person we're talking to. While visiting Uncle Cleet in the nursing home, Aunt Louise casually said, Aunt Louise said casually, <laughs> that's her, free, that's the casually, free, we're in an entanglement, that's that cunning shit. The first time I saw their new baby, the first time I saw that motherfucker, the only thing I could think of to say was I need a taco what y'all call a taco I, so I need that I need that shit woo see this bitch is bad to the bone bitch she told me you would you eat lightning and fucking do something with thunder you know what you told me you badass bitch I'm talking to that bitch Maybe not that bitch that sit on the red table, but I'm talking to the bitch that got on my table and told me she eat thunder and fucking do something else with light lightning. I don't know whoever that bitch was. Our family motto is, yeah, that motto y'all did on the, on the show. What's that shit y'all was punching fists? Well, don't accept that shit. That's some manipulating shit. That's what drunks do down in the ghetto when they want to secure they sip on the beer. Now. Nah. If you don't know that code, go back down where the homies at in West Southwest Philly and find out what that motherfucker do when he got his bed on a motherfucking beer. Next. As soon as they walked out the front door, my mother said, what did your mother say? On these, taking a new sleep of faith. It's hard to explain, but it makes me tingle. Damn, bitch. Slow your roll, bitch. Slow your roll. This is embarrassing. Slow your goddamn roll. You ain't gonna come over here with that shit. I ain't accepting it. And nobody else is even. Only a sour, fucked up bitch would think it's cute. Because if it was him, bitch, you'd be out here telling every tabloid, every motherfucking inquiry news, every motherfucking essence ma magazine, everyone. Would know he was out there doing some fuck shit. But you gonna tell me what this shit is on these eight of pentacles. My uncle Tucker ain't and is had an unusual tombstone. It it simply said, What did you want a death to it? That's what it said. You just want the money. That's what that told me. You want a death to this. Work hard work. Pay work. Pay work. What kind of work? Work your mouth, work your jaws. Which we were you said Uncle Talk Uncle Tucker's tombstone. That's got to do with what? The death to what? My When my mother came home from a hair salon and asked, what do you think my dad blurted out about the dad? Okay, we know who the dad is. Oh, 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 oh bitch. Oh, you cunning ass bitch. Everyone was worried that something bad had happened to Uncle Howard when he bust through the front, bust through the door and shouted. What the fuck he shouted? What the fuck is going on in here with your motherfucking lifesaver out fucking in my living room? That's probably what the fuck he said. What the fuck is going on? At the funeral home visitation, we were sh shocked when my brother walked up to... The wit widow Douglas and say, when my aunt 
when my cousin Fuller announced that he and his longtime roommate, you and him, you and the baby boy, Don were married. Uncle, uh, Grandpa grabbed his chest. That y'all want to get married? Yeah, we want to get married. See. When Uncle Carl asked, is my breath bad? Mom staggered back a couple steps and answered. Bitch, you think the motherfucker's breath stink? Is that the fucking shit you try to go with? Bitch, you shallow if you starting that shit. Don't, I told you, come over here with that cunning shit. If it's sour, bitch, if it's my fucking mouth smell like anything, it smell like your own fucking bus stop ass pussy. That's what it smell like. I told you, don't come over here with that kind of shit. Now, the next shit I'm going to get to, you are going to hell in a full scholarship, motherfucker, is what they said on Uncle's, Uncle Tucker's tombstone. And they said, uh, when, 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 when it came back from the hair salon, that is just nasty. Bitch, that's what the fuck they told me to tell you. And they told me to tell you every one was worried that something bad happened to Uncle Howard when he bust through the door and shouted, Welcome to an episode of The Walking Dead. Hmm. We know this some dead shit, don't we? At the funeral home visitation, we were shocked when my brother walked to Walk up to the window, widow Douglas's and say, Hello, heartburn. <laughs> I know that's going to hurt your heart, motherfucker, but this is the motherfucking deal. All right, bitch, I hear you, but guess what? Guess what? you going to reap that. You saw it when me, I re you remember this? You said things you would do with a million dollars, bitch. I told you 25%. And we ain't talking about, no, you ain't going to get that, bitch. 25%, they're going to make sure you get less than millions. Less millions is possible. But the kids going to get their own separate, you going to get yours. And it ain't going to be what you think. Now, watch. Because I told you, he got people in high places like Jesus' niece. That's why. Next. Oh, I didn't tell you the response. When he held his chest. And said, Cornhole! <laughs> you hoe ass bitch! That's it. Ah, he told me to tell you that. My bad. <laughs> when Uncle Carl said, Is my breath bad? My mom staggered back a couple of steps and answered. Here is here a couple of ideas to keep. Wait. <laughs> Here's a Crazy idea. Try keeping your legs closed. <laughs> you take all the joy out of everything. Bitch. I will pay you ten bucks to put your shoes back on. Bitch, that bitch will pay you ten dollars to get the fuck out of here. I tell you it's going to be less than a million. It ain't going to be with you. You want to go to the gutter. You was on motherfuck. You told me about some motherfucking harbor. Told me about some all this whole fuck shit. But you down here at motherfucking rapper fucking room talking about some shit. Bitch! I know you lying. Just, I just vomited a little bit in my mouth. Ooh, bitch. I told you don't come. They told me. They told me. And this is some more messages. I'm scared to give them to you. Might cuss you out some more. Um, so what's the story with the giant tattoo? Ooh, oh, yeah, y'all was supposed to get some tattoos or something I heard back there. They told me back there in one of them videos. S please, just make it stop. <laughs> I bet I can ride it, but I will probably get hurt. She don't care, motherfucker. She back on. She back up to the moon. She done. She gone. She heard us. She gone now, y'all. She gone. Okay. So this is on the little boy. This is on the Ten of Pentacles. She went with the little boy. All right, y'all. I'm putting that shit back. All right. We gone with that. I was just so I could remind myself what I was doing. All right. So now we wanted some more shit. We wanted to get this shit, right? Remember, we had some more shit. Let me get this first. Bam. Oh, bam. 
And then we remember that elephant? We wanted to know what that bigger picture was. Yeah. We know what that is. That's the fucking other little boy. We already know that. We don't know what this is. We gonna find out though. They gonna tell us. And then we got that um, Queen of Swords. And then we got this loyal dog. The little boy. I know that's the little boy. I got gotta be the little fucking boy. Alright. And then we got these phone calls. And then this shit here. Then we got the phone call. The moving forward. And then we got this clown on the shelf. With her high at the pedestal. And we got this horsing around down below. With the wood in between. Okay. That's what we got there. Alright. And let's see what we got here. Let's put that on the side right there. I told you it's a lot of shit. Then we got these anchors. Then we got the gate. We got the bell. We got to put some more stuff on the table. We got to see what's buried. And we got to see the water fountain about this queen of swords. She told me she want to speak her truth. We going to let her speak her truth. Okay, on this stuff. So, all right. Let me tell you. You will say you want to get in my inbox? Tell me about these, uh, about this uh, motion with these things. The money going around in circles. The the wavy pot mashing. This tea in the corner. This teapot. And then all this other shit you got here going. I want to know what that shit is. Tell me in my inbox. Hey, I got some silly string for tonight. Ready to get loose. All right, we know that's about you fucking. Okay. Fucking a little boy. Then what else? It is weird that the guy on The Biggest Loser kind of turned me on. <laughs> the other one's fat. He ain't fat, bitch. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. Stop that shit! <laughs> oh, good morning. Can you cover chat shit? I told you, it's about fucking. This is all about fucking. Okay. Hi. Your Uber. Yeah, about them fucking. Remember, they told us they was in the Uber car and she was right out front. And I was wondering if I could come in because I was kind of having a bad day. And then we got the, um, it's been a couple of days, but it still itches. That's about the herpes. I told y'all I asked about that. And this is, um, j uh, just a prostate exam. Maybe acting weird for a couple, for the next couple of days. That's her getting fucked in the ass. Okay. Enough of that. Okay, I'm done with that. We already know what that is. Okay, so what's this? The numbers, the nests, the nuts, the house, the music notes, the end, the end, the necktie, the nigga. Oh, I got you, bitch. The dressing up the nigga. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my back account. Big M's in my back account. Eh, eh, eh. All right, so you think them little M's in his bank account? These little million, I got a million dollars in the bank account. All right, I, I got the mills in the, all right, so, all right, we talk about little I seen a my God million dollars in the bank. Yeah, how did he get the million dollars? That's probably where you've been stashing your money so you could get over there to be with I seen a. Is that what we talk about? No, tell me about it then. Tell me about it then. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, bitch, then. Tell me about it. Let me know. Sorry you had to see that. I thought I was home alone. Huh? When he fucking came in there and saw y'all fucking. That's right. Okay, say, so do you have any tie to go on you? Nursing a mustard. Nursing a mustard on a cargo shirt. Shorts situation. Mustard. <laughs> Ain't no fucking mustard bits. Stop yelling. Stop stealing my signature. Knock, knock, joke. That's probably you stealing your husband's signature. Like I just said about putting money, stashing your money over there in another account. So the motherfucker didn't know when you got ready to go, you would be good. But bitch, I told you about that shit. I said it might look like you got enough now. But the lifestyle is not going to hold you. I told you that. But you do you. I'm just telling you the message. Yo, want to meet my goldfish this weekend? I think you guys would really vibe. <clears throat> you know what that goldfish do? <clears throat> you know about that that thing? What he tell you? Thing, uh, a thing that had no privacy. We got to remember cult, y'all. We in the cult. We talking on my phone. Then who this? Chirp, chirp. You on my phone. We on my phone now, y'all. I got they phone calls. This is why I'm in my inbox. Then I want you to tell them, hey, it's Joe from history. history. You smell nice. 
doing? <laughs> Gonna be late for the interview. My perky chain. No, pesky chain broke on my bicycles while on my paper route because of the Monday's SMH. Got you. Remember that? Remember? Remember that? <laughs> oh, okay. That's what the N is. All right, bitch. Come on. Stop playing with me. Give me the real shit. Hey, will you babysit my Tamaguchi? What is that? While I'm away for the weekend, my last one died, and I can't go through that again, bro. His chain. So the last my relationship broke up, I can't go through another heartbreak. Oh, that's her feeling sorry for the broken motherfucker, and she felt responsible for the motherfucker that she, uh, bitch. Stop! Don't tell me no more of this fuck shit. Come on, come on with the real shit. Your profile picture is pretty hot. Ha <laughs> ha, random. I know. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. That's enough. Hold on, y'all. I gotta get some more cards. Bitch, talking all this shit. Oh, Come with the real shit now. You better come with the real shit. You better come with the real shit. Excuse me. Oh, I told you when they start, she started messing with my camera and shit. Just don't mess with nothing. Stop touching stuff. And just do the interview. Come on, man. Stop playing. I have one question for you. Ashley, can he spoon you like I can? <laughs> That's your husband asking you, can he spoon you like he can? His spoons are better, Will. I'm sorry. Yes. That's your answer. That's your question. That's it. Yeah. Okay, give me this one on this panda. Oh, that's what that was for the panda? Can he spoon you like I can? Uh, yeah. His spoons are better. Um, hey, I'm sitting in the front. You can't miss me. I'm the guy wearing the white tank top and the go Yeah, it's him. I'm sorry. Hey, you can measure that forehead for before our next date. LMK, let me know what you get. Yeah. It's hard to explain, but it makes me tingle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, come on, y'all. The pregnancy test came back positive. Now you'll have two people calling you daddy. <laughs> That's on the big elephant. So is there a pregnancy or not? Or was there a pregnancy scare? Is that what I said earlier? We're going to try to get in vitro fertilization so we could get pregnant by the motherfucker and we can move on. That would be re real reasons to move on. Like, hunting shit. Like, hey, I know this is random, but what's your blood type? Yeah, that's the blood type. Yeah, that we want to have the same blood type. Yeah. Okay. All right. I know what that is. Okay, so what's this phone call stuff? Is that the doctor calling? What's that medical shit? What's that? Yo. Are you going to the funeral today? Sounds kind of fun with the open bar and all. A fume. Something that's dead. Okay. What's the slow bike riding on the yellow? What's that? Tell me about it. We're about to go have brunch at the Olive Garden. You still on that stupid diet or are you gonna munch? <laughs> I'm on that motherfucking <laughs> I'm on that motherfucking dick chase. I don't give a fuck about no fucking food. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I told you I drink do say up the bottle <laughs> wine whatever the spirit you like. Okay. Alright, so what's this fucking shit on the shelf? What's that shit? That's your trophy. I got you. That's your prize. I got you. I got you, bitch. I'm with you. I'm following you, bitch. I got you. Ma, can we stop having that? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> That's the baby boy. Asking in the car. I think I hit her the ice cream truck. Should I be a cowboy? Yeah. That's the one that takes her to the, takes her to space, space land. Loyal dog, bitch. 
Bitch, stop playing with me. <laughs> My horoscope said I'm going to have a romantic and passionate Tuesday night. So, what are you up to later? LOL, that's that loyal dick I'm getting. Alright, hey, ha ha, will you grab some up dogs on your way home? Up the butt, up the ass, up the mouth, up wherever. Christopher, you can't smoke cigarettes at lunchtime. It is, it's juvie. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know what Juvie is. I'm going to let y'all see what Christopher had to say. And Christopher, remember Christopher was, for, was the pursuit of happiness? Wasn't he? Christopher Wallace? Wasn't that his name? <laughs> oh, I'm missing you. Tell me why the roster. Ooh. Um, bro, accounting is so lame. Unplug the computer and let's get back, get the bands back together. The bands, you know, that bands that make her dance, that dick make her go to Space Mountain. And um, Christopher, Christopher Wallace, we is talking. Christopher, I don't know if his name was Christopher Wallace, but the movie where he was Christopher something. I don't know what his name was. But whatever his name was, where he was being in the pursuit of happiness, that's the reference. I'm not talking about... Biggie Smalls or anybody like that. I'm talking about the movie he played in. We're talking about Big Bro Bank Accounts. So lame. That's what's so lame? No, that ain't lame. That motherfucker is on 10. But your man want his shit, though. That's why he fucking you, though. Okay. So more on this space. I know what this shit is. If your plus one says... One more thing. One more time. I'm going to have to ask him to leave. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's him fucking her. Thanks again for the shark tooth necklace. You really shouldn't have. You really stuck me with this one, Carol. You really did it to me, Carol. Yeah, I really did it to me now, Carol. You got me looking real dumb in front of everybody in the world now, Carol. The man came out here on his own. It's Friday. You know what that means. But it's do my thing. We hit the same jewel last night. It is cool if I tell my friends that we kiss. Yeah, that's the one she kissing. <laughs> I enjoy our date, but I know it was you who farted. So that's the shit we talk about. Hey, babe, at the drugstore picking up some tampons. What size vagina are you? So that's the motherfucker that's stretching the vagina out. Oh shit! What am I listening to? All right, so um, I know you're in a fret, but what made you think it'd be all right to wear them? All right, so that's the shit we confessing to at church. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's church. We put in a higher source on it. That's the truth. Ooh, all right, bitch. That's enough of that. All right. 28, 25. Give me um some emotions on this shit. Your emo no. Yeah, your emotion. I want your fucking feelings on this shit. Give me some more. Give me some emotions. Don't throw it on the floor. Is that it? That's it? She bored with what something. What's that going on? I don't know. Whatever the funeral is. Love that motherfucker. She upset that the shit is I got to be this way. She confident the shit will work itself out in some way. But I told you we in a free situation. It's grumpiness here. And it's some disappointment here because the shit didn't work out like she thought it was. But she excited. The excitement is the passion for the love and the confidence that the shit is going to work out. That's what she confident on. Right. But she got a lot of blue out here. Red hair, blue hair. She got too much blue. That's not balance. That's not no balance. So you you tipping the scales on one end and not on another. So this is not I have this is not balance. All right, so we know that now. All right, so tell me some more messages, damn bit, uh, girl. Come on, tell me some more messages. Tell me some more stuff you want to tell me about your business. Wait a minute, let me shuffle a little bit. All right, all right, things you shouldn't do in public 
Alright. I'm going to take it to this and I'm going to come back for y'all. Things you shouldn't do your first day on the job. The first day came there, we was fucking. Things you wish you had never had, had never. I wish I never did it, but I'm glad I did. Things you shouldn't say to your children. That's my child, but he like my child, but shit, I can't help it. Things you shouldn't lend. He didn't lend me. I went on my own. Things you don't understand about humans. Yeah, that's the funny thing about a bitch like me. I'm fucked up like that. Things you shouldn't throw off a building. My man shouldn't throw him off. My husband shouldn't throw him off no building, but I know the shit is fucked up, but guess what? Things you shouldn't do in an elevator. Things you shouldn't shouldn't kiss. Yeah, I shouldn't have been kissing that motherfucker. Things you supposed to keep a secret. Those are the things that we supposed to keep a secret. So yes, y'all. So let me say my stuff. So if you are liking these types of readings and they are interesting you, may you hit that subscribe button, like button, and share and feedback. So Namaste, now I must go.